Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 62. So over the last few days, we've been talking about creating agent site pages from within our consumer applet. Today, we're gonna to switch slightly in that I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page using the consumer applet. So let's dive into that consumer applet, the last icon down here on our toolbar. And you'll see when we choose consumer applet, we get taken in again to our agent site pages, but we wanna to shift to landing pages. So when you click on the landing pages tab, you're going to see first five columns. The first column is the status, indicating whether or not this page is actually live on the internet. So if you want that page to not be active, set it to inactive, you can toggle on or toggle off and you'll see that's how you change your page active and inactive. You've got the name of your landing page, the actual URL link of your landing page, and then how many leads have been captured from that landing page and when was it created. Here on the right hand side, you do have our three ellipses or the ellipses three dot uh, menu. And you can see that you have the ability to edit a landing page, change the URL, deactivate or delete it in full. And so that's kind of the landing page menu. Let me walk you through the creation process. Uh, so to create a landing page, again, we click on the create a new page button in the top right. But now we're gonna go down to as a landing page instead of creating an agent site a sub page. When we click on create page, we get it into a similar editor. However, there are a few differences, mainly the widgets available. Uh, but first things first, let's make sure that we see that we do need to name our landing page, just like we named our agent site page. So I'll just name this 66 day challenge test, right? Same viewing options here, same redo, undo, and uh, preview options here. Now the widgets is where the biggest change is going to come in with regards to your landing pages. So in this center square here in the, in the, uh, the big white body square, I want you to kind of think of almost like um, layers of a cake. As you bring in these widgets, you'll see that they start to layer on top of one another. And so I'm just kind of bringing them in and you can see that green line when I bring in a widget, that basically shows where it's going to drop. So you see, I've got the listing widget here and I've got the legal footer widget here. If I just wanted to bring in the market snap widget, you can see right now it would drop it between these two widgets. But if I moved it down to the bottom, it would put that widget down here at the very bottom. So that's a little bit as far as how to drop in the widgets. Let's take a look at several of these that we have brought in. So the very first one is our agent branding widget. Um, and that one is kind of a, uh, a fancier version of the branded header widget. So you'll see that the profile photo is a little bit larger. It's got my agent license number, if that's a requirement in your market. It's got uh, my market center's address, although it does lack city and state and zip, but it does have at least the uh, street address. It does have my agent site and then my office line, as well as my brokerage license number. So agent branding, a lot of times that may be required in your market. You're gonna to wanna to find out what is required. Um, personally, I prefer the branded header, <laughs> header, excuse me, a little simpler, a little cleaner here. Um, and this is just my personal preference, but if this is required in your market or you prefer it, that's what you could put at the top of your landing page. Uh, the next one we have in is called the lead form. Uh, this is basically to capture leads coming in from your actual landing page. And we're gonna get to that even more tomorrow. Uh, next, we have got the listing widget and we can configure this widget by choosing a specific address for an active listing. And that will then be configured to give us more information about that listing, including details from the MLS and the map view here. Uh, next, we've got the legal footer. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that this be included in all of your landing pages, just kind of a, a CYA. It also includes your social links here, which is nice. Uh, next, we've got, uh, let's see, this is the market snap uh, widget, and we can configure this for a specific neighborhood, and that'll give us neighborhood-based statistics. 
and show us where that neighborhood is here on the map. We've also got your local expert. We've got video. We've got testimonial capture and download my app. So local expert, basically it's just kind of your bio, uh, a good looking way to kind of show off uh, a little bit more about who you are and what your bio is. You've got the download my app button inside of local expert, but then we also have an entire widget dedicated just to downloading the KW app. Down here at the bottom, this is our testimonial capture. We've seen this before. So if you wanted to have uh, clients provide you with reviews or testimonials, but not have that review page on your agent site, you could use a landing page specifically for that. Uh, and then finally, we've got the video widget down here at the bottom where you can actually configure this widget to drop in a specific video uh, that you want to play as well. So that's a basic run through of the 10 widgets that we have available. Uh, the way that we obviously begin to create a landing page. Each one of these is configurable. So when I click on configure widgets, you're gonna see here are all of the 10 widgets. Now, if there's a check mark, it means that it has some basic configuration already there. However, you still have the ability to configure it. If the check mark is gray, it means that you are required to enter something or it's not going to actually pull over when you pull up the actual landing page. So tomorrow we're actually gonna go through, I'm gonna show you a couple of different variations. One, uh, the ability to show kind of some neighborhood market pages. Two, one of the most popular landing page options to actually have an open house sign-in page uh, where you can have people sign in on your Surface, your tablet, your laptop, something along those lines. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And as always, I look forward to seeing you again real soon.